Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Let's dive right in. This is the April 8th, 2024 weekly reading, but obviously we have an eclipse and we're going to be talking about that. So I started out this morning with a meditation on this. Everybody has their position on this. I'm going to go through all of that, what I received in that meditation with, it's an angelic meditation that I did to be clear. And then I will pull some cards Please make sure you are definitely not just watching this video, but watch the dailies as well. Now, I just finished up a bunch of, of personal readings, just got that done. If you want to get your personal reading in right now, I am still going strong <laughs> thus far. If we still have internet and I haven't been raptured, um, if I get left behind, I'm going to be so disappointed. But with, with all nonsense out of the way and if I still have internet and all that good stuff then it should be a one to two day wait time for standard reading so get in and get those now if you want them okay again I don't know when that is going to change when things are going to start coming up and again please keep in mind that if you wait a little bit you might have people ahead of you it might push that wait time out a little bit but it won't be it shouldn't be terrible Okay, so there's that. Talking about angelsouls444.com to get your personal reading. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> what came up this morning is that there are going to be varied experiences, of course. That's why I was encouraging people to tune in either for yourself or get a reading about the April 8th eclipse. And this is not just tomorrow. I mean, the actual eclipse is tomorrow as of the timing of me recording this, but it's going to go on. The influence is going to be uh, months, but the effects of things that are happening within months, you know, so there might be an event for you within six to eight months or something like that. Some people are saying three months, I'm getting a message of six to eight months, something could really be shifting and changing very obviously for you in your life. And that will have effects for many years to come. Okay. So there is that part, varied experiences, very big divided experiences. So there could be people who are in the path of storms. Um, there's already reports out on that. If you want to go check that out, uh, we've been having earthquakes. I look for more and more of that to occur in very violent storms, things like that. But as far as like your personal experiences, it comes down to one massive ego death. And if you don't know what that is, it does not have to be a bad thing. It sounds scary, but it doesn't have to be scary, right? Um, so this is thought like the ego self, whatever the ego self is um, getting wrapped up in, okay? This would be us not going after celebrity culture anymore, not interested in that. You'll see the fall of a lot of uh, big influencers because people are just not... We're not into it, especially if it's a, an influencer that does a lot of opulent showing off. Like, even now, I'm like, like, <laughs> like somebody's like, hey, look at my mansion behind me. Nobody cares, right? So there's going to be a lot of that. That's part of that ego death. This is also going to be, as I, in that under that umbrella of ego death, all of us deciding where we want to put our focus our time and attention. So how meaningful is your life? Are you doing something that is from the heart? Are you a part of something or dealing with people who, you know, there's, there's a good exchange of energy and not power plays? Do you see what I'm saying? So there's going to be a lot of that. This For some people, this is going to be really, really rough because they've never had an ego death before. And this is where we get into, you don't need to be scared about anything. Angels were coming in and being like, you don't need to be scared about anything. But where we could get into some wild card moments would be, think of any kind of like darker energy that doesn't want that ego death. It's going to fight it with everything. And so you might see people acting out. Uh, definitely this could be a time where people are taking opportunities to do something. So again, just listening to your intuition, 
your instincts, they are going to be on fire, okay? Like your, your intuition is going to be like this. So do not ignore it. That means if you feel like, hey, I probably shouldn't go to the grocery store today, don't do it. Uh, hey, I probably should stay home today. Listen to your instincts, okay? I personally am feeling, because I keep tuning into this to see if there's more to come up. There was a message about AI as well, and I'll share that with you here in just a moment. But um, so clearly this is going to set that into motion. But I get a very balanced feeling around this eclipse because on the other side of it, so the people that are struggling with the ego death, it's going to be a thing for them. But people who have already been truly doing the work, I'm not talking from like an ego standpoint of I'm overthinking everything. I'm um, treating spirituality like a formula. I was just sharing this with someone but really truly coming from the heart and allowing the heart space to be in alignment with divine energy, whatever you call that divine energy. As long as you're in alignment, you're good. Okay. So, so there is that. So some of us might find this eclipse incredibly freeing. And that's what I'm really excited about. So this is where suddenly things that bothered you, they just don't bother you anymore. Or if you held anger in your heart, Maybe you're forgiving. That doesn't mean that you're letting people back in, especially if they have done harm to you. You do not owe them anything. You do not need to let them back in. But maybe you're letting that go and saying, okay, I'm not going to let that take up any more space for me. So again, most of you watching this or coming across this video, at worst, you're going to have a little bumpy time. Like... I don't know, maybe, maybe things happening that are inconveniences or uh, wake up calls. Some of you are going to get wake up calls. But for most of you, I think this should be a very profound, beautiful time for you that it's finally um, letting you shed some of the things that have kept you from being in your joy and being in happiness uh, some of you, you know, keep joking about not, it's not really a joke, but like the rapture, <laughs> you know, part of that could be, this is the day, like maybe you're not going to actually float on up out of your body and leave a pile of clothes, but you can absolutely have that divine experience during the, oh, I'll get chills as I say that you're going to have a very beautiful divine experience. So that is on offer for all of us. This is also a time where you can have an angelic, a pure high frequency of God's purest love and light, we always say, um, experience, angelic in experience. So don't be surprised if you uh, have a, in your mind's eye, a vision of your guardian angel. If you feel like you feel the presence of Archangel Gabriel or Michael coming through, Metatron, you know, that's Haniel, Haniel and Gabriel, because they're associated with like, <laughs> the sky, right? Um, Haniel is more like the moon, but you know, just things like that. So be ready for that. And whatever fearful things are going on out there, of course, always have compassion for people, um, sending them love. If you're there and you can help, then and it's safe for you to help, then help. By the way, side note, please watch what the experts are saying about how to safely see the eclipse. Thank you. There we go. PSA. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, where were we? So yeah, so this could be a really profound day for some of us, but even if it's a profound moment for you, there could be shakeups for people around you. So it might be that you're concerned about a loved one or, um, like you're okay, but you're watching out for someone else who maybe isn't Let's say energetically. I don't want to say spiritually ready because people have their their level of readiness through their belief systems. But energetically, meaning I'm letting too much of my surface level life get my attention. I'm letting too much resentment and pain and hurt take away my joy or hold me back even. You know, um, I'm putting too much on myself to prove myself to prove my worth and you suddenly go, you know, I'm worthy by doing something quietly. 
I don't have to be out there showing everybody what I'm doing. You feel me? We're going to see like as time goes on, we're going to get a big kickback from social media where we went from like completely oversharing. Have you been on social, like other social media platforms recently? Wow. Okay. Well, shoot, one of them was even here on YouTube and it was wild. Okay. But like, we're going to go from that to handle your own stuff. Not that you're alone or that, you know, you can't lean on people for help or that you can't advocate for things. Um, you know, you could do that, but the, the pure, just showing your life just because it was never a good idea. We're going to see, we're going to let that go. All right. Now the AI message, I was asking, cause actually I was watching another video and they, this, there was like an interview and they were asking if AI is dangerous. And I'm listening to this and I was like, well, let me ask, like angels, is, is AI dangerous? And they were saying it's just another layer of reality, much like the one you're living in now. And I said, now hang on, what are you saying? <laughs> we're in a simulation? And they wouldn't, they're, they're very um, particular about word frequencies. And so they wouldn't necessarily confirm the word simulation. But what they were giving me was much like you would type a prompt into AI and it creates this whole thing, whatever it is that you ask. That's kind of how we plan these timelines when we go into them. So how about that? <laughs> so is it a danger Obviously in the wrong hands. It's all the stuff you already know in the wrong hands. But I just thought that was interesting uh, about how they responded to that. Like you don't have anything to fear because you already kind of know what this process is. And it's the same kind of thing. If you intend to come in and be the villain, you're going to be the villain. If you use AI for bad reasons, there you go. Right. So it's not that complicated. Uh, but more than anything, I think. They're going to be man-made things occurring. If, if anything should happen, again, I'm recording this on April 7th of 2024. If anything should happen, it's because a human took an opportunity to do something. The exception to that potentially, and I'm not even sure, but potentially would be like an earthquake. Um, but I would, oh, and I wanted to say this too. I wanted to see what other people are putting out there because I like to do that so I can address things when I film my video. And one of the things that's out there that just in my opinion, I would say, don't listen to this. Um, there is somebody I came across and they said, you know, you have to be fasting. And it was, you know, it, it was just said in such a judgmental, almost like bitter kind of way. Don't listen to anybody's coming from that angle, okay? If someone says, hey, if you want to make the most of this time, it's very sacred, it's very spiritual, maybe consider doing a fasting moment if it's healthy for you and it's okay for whatever your health status is. Instead of doing that, it was very, again, just very judgmental. And if you're not doing this, then you're not doing it right. Girl, bye, okay? Like, just goodbye. Get out of here. Like, <laughs> just go past that. Don't be listening to that. And we do need to address... Some of the information that is coming out. Now, remember, every one of us out here, I'm built for bringing a certain frequency through, but I'm not so big on the psychic stuff. Um, not that it's bad. I just, I'm not, it's not really my gig. Like, it's not what I do. Um, some people are for the astrology. Other people are for um, being able to draw in and receive information that's not readily available to the public. Now, they often get labeled. Um, but I don't think that they're off on what they're saying. Matter of fact, I'm getting strong confirmation every once in a while. Some of them it's nuanced. And so they don't have all the detail around that, whatever they're saying. Um, so I think you're okay to listen to some of that. Um, remembering that we want to be aligned with peace. We want to be aligned with love being uplifting without being in denial. So if someone says, Hey, this thing could be going on, be ready for it. Go, okay, got it. Registered processed. Okay. And I'm going to get myself prepared and then I'm going to 
I'm going to stay in this alignment, okay? So it doesn't have to equate to panicking. I've seen, um, there's somebody who's <laughs> got me panicky, Michelle. Um, and I was tempted to, it was in the comments, and I was tempted to respond and say, I don't make you panic about anything. That's yours. You choose how you want to respond. Now, I wasn't sure if it was just kind of tongue in cheek, so I <laughs> didn't say anything. Um, but please remember that if you're having a certain response to someone saying something, you're having like a genuine response to it and it is panic, that's yours, okay? So no one can make you feel anything. You're in charge of your emotions and... I know I am very conscientious to not put things in a way that is supposed to induce panic. It's to be informed. It's to give a perspective um, for your consideration. So if you take it there, you took it there. You feel me? Okay. Not that it's bad. Whoever left that comment, I don't, I'm not saying anything to you specifically. It just made me, it started to get me thinking. So again, this even energy um, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be, be a very beautiful day. Um, but someone's going to try to destroy that. Someone's going to try to bring us down. As far as it being a spiritual experience, 100%. 100%. So um, if you want to witness it with proper glasses and you're being safe about it and you want to see it, um, here's the deal. If you've seen an eclipse like this, like I'm in the path of totality. So, you know, I got my little thing, my little glass. I'm going to look at it for a second and then I'm going to breathe. And then I'm going to, when it's totality, you know, okay, there it is. I see it. Like we don't got to stare at this for the full four minutes. Like it's a black dot over the, you know what I mean? I don't, <laughs> I'm just saying like, I'm, I'm more interested in breathing through and having the experience that the clearing that this is going to bring. And that's what it is. It's bringing the potential for a fresh slate. Okay. So there's that part of it. Leave your comments down below. I am getting this up a little bit late. If you guys saw the day I had, it was a beautiful day. Um, but it was very busy. <laughs> and I don't know what it is. Um, you look up and time has just flown by. Let me know if you have things that you, like if you genuinely are concerned for tomorrow, I will be, I mean, I have to do a couple of things later tonight, but I will be popping on to the comments uh, and checking those out. But please, again, the comments are not for asking personal reading questions. You can get a personal reading with me at angelsouls444.com. As I said at the top of the reading, make sure you get in now while the wait time is still somewhat under control. Okay. <laughs> Because it's usually over three weeks um, wait time. And I've been staying on top of it. So here we go. Into the unknown. The number seven. So Archangelic Guidance. The number seven has the Archangelic Frequency and Angel Number Interpretations. But um, see if you can see that. So she has a blindfold on. She's feeling her way through. I think so many of us are in this place. Like I'm not scared at all. I ain't worried. I kind of started filling up some like water stuff because... Again, we're in the path of totality. So if we do have a lot of stress on the infrastructure, I don't know what could happen, but internet goes down or something, I'm prepared for that. But otherwise, I'm not worried. But this is what a lot of people are doing. They're just waiting to see. <laughs> I, I just heard, um, say that again. Let me say it clearer, please. You know you there you know there's something there, but you can't articulate it. You're waiting for that to reveal itself. Spirit of place, number four. Again, the four, I love this. So the four is your guardian angel frequency. And spirit of place, I talk about that all the time. And that is something that you can be tuning into while this eclipse is occurring. Spirit of place, the way I take it, and the way that it has been brought to me is literally the spirit of the land, right? It is, um, some people see that as ancestors being in it, but I see it as like, like my town has a spirit, my not, it has a soul, right? So how do I connect and interact with that, with my place on the earth? The place, the spot that, um, Keeps me connected to the earth, right? So I hope that's making sense. But 
this is going to, I think this is saying this is going, it's not about watching what's going to happen. It's not about watching, you know, Lister instincts, of course, but watching for events and all these crazy things to come about. But it gives us a chance to connect with the universe and our place within it, wherever you are to connect. I think that's beautiful. And then the seven archangel energy four is uh, guardian angel energy. <sighs> okay, so this is 40. There's another four there. Follow the leader. I'm taking a moment with this because this gave me a little creepy feeling, like in a good way. I guess creepy is not a very positive word. But this follow the leader, this feels like, you know, some people... You know, they, they were calling it the rapture or whatever, but I'm going to call it, remember I said the connection to the, the, to the divine. I just did a bunch of readings. I cannot talk. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a connection to the divine. Um, being guided. Angels. Okay. Okay, they're saying right now we're giving you the signs of angelic frequency and we're all here. The, the army of angels, they're here and they have been here for, for forever, um, but they're coming a little bit closer now to protect and to guide. So follow the leader isn't, because at first I thought, what do they mean like a bunch of people kind of marching to this higher consciousness. I mean, maybe, um, but it was, then the angels came in and they're clarifying. So they're saying like, we're here to guide you. Let us guide you. The number is 11. Okay. I've been doing this a long time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these are, it's numerology essentially, but we have angel numbers. They have this angelic frequency. Angels, want us to experience a message. And often we, in our ego consciousness, will shut out angelic messaging. Uh, we're just not in a frequency to understand it. So they will give us little things that will work with our brains as, as they function to get our attention. Now, unfortunately, dark people, like forces, people with like darkness working through them have now used it for marketing or, you know, to con somebody or manipulate somebody like... Hey, there's 1111. It means we're meant to be like, be careful with that. Just make sure you're tuning in. You, you'll you feel it. You will know when it's angelic presence. It feels like you're coming home. It feels like the purest love, like everything's okay. You're supported. You're at peace. You're filled with grace. Remember, they're God's divine messenger. So they bring that God force, life force, energy, that love and bring it to a frequency that our physical bodies can take in. Okay. So this is number 11, balancing act. And what I was saying is that we have all these very sacred numbers here. And uh, some of you might be very unsure about accepting this help or be very unsure about being okay. I know that sounds weird. Being unsure about being okay. Am I doing it right? Um, am I going to be punished? Like some of you think like you're going to be punished during this week. <sighs> yes, it's a balancing act, but you're built for it. <laughs> right? You're built for going through this uh, next phase of your lives. And one more card. Solitude. So the number here is 13. 13 is associated with transformation, but you reduce that. Well, when I say reduce, it's not the mathematical reducing. It is the numerology reducing, meaning we add one and three. Okay. So that becomes four and there's a lot of fours here. So that's guardian angel energy. Now this might be a little bit of being in shock, being a little stunned, not really knowing what to do. And I will tell you that I spent a good portion of this morning being very lightheaded. Um, I was in a great mood. I actually, there's somebody I had a dream about last night. Maybe I should, just in case they like sneaky watch these videos. Um, someone I used to work with who's older than me by a little bit. 
and I saw you in this dream and there was a, um, a doctor talking about your lung disease and that those were the exact words, lung disease. So it wasn't an actual term or anything like that. So if you're sneaky watching this, um, uh, I'm sure you can connect and feel that I'm probably talking to you. Make sure you go to the doctor. Make sure you're getting that checked out. Maybe you already know what it is. Um, but yeah, I just want to throw that out there. So yeah, there. and I also had, I dreamt of uh, Bob Ross last night. <laughs> and I got to tell him how, when I was, a, how much he meant to me as a kid, because I would get up and on the weekends and watch his show. And I always wished that I had all the materials and everything there so I could paint along with him. But yeah, I had this whole dream. It was a very strange dream. There were other things that happened there, but you know, those I think were more like personal things, I think. Watch it now happen out in the world and I should have said something. But anyway, the solitude is going within. And I think this is given a very clear indication of how to use this energy that's coming up. As I said before, it's not just tomorrow. This is going to be extending. It's going to be very intense this week, but it's going to extend months from now. So give your heart a break. For a lot of you, this is clearing away some old junk that you didn't need. Yes, it's an ego death, but it's only going to hurt if you haven't done the work. And what do we mean by the work? You're meditating. You're realizing things about yourself and you're not just shoving it to the side to deal with later you're handling it or you've done your healing okay now that's not to say that people who are unhealed are going to be like punished or something like that uh it's more they're going to be a little more they're going to be in shock not like literal shock but they may not I'm almost feeling like some people having moments where they can't even feel their body around them. Um, and they'll try to shove it away. And they'll say, oh, this is just all this eclipse stuff, all this spirituality stuff around this is ridiculous. There's the split. People will go further into density consciousness, which is third dimensional ego consciousness, Right? Or we will start to embody more fifth dimensional beingness. Now remember, I've been saying this for years. You're not actually going into 5D, okay? Because people say this. <laughs> if you were fully in 5D, you wouldn't have a body, okay? So you're still having your density body here, right? You can't just walk through me. You'd bump into me and I'd be like, yo, watch where you're going. No, actually, I'd be like, oh, sorry, even if it wasn't me who... Was that fault? You know, you know how it goes. People pleasing. <laughs> but, you know, you can't walk through me, right? So I'm not fully in 5D, but I can take on the attributes, the perspective of fifth dimensional energy, which is seeing the love in a situation, which is um, prioritizing peace over a lot of money or love and, and loving connections with people over a fancy title you know those kinds of things so there's so much more I could say about this but this video is already what like a half hour long yeah so <laughs> I will leave it there again go ahead and leave your comments I will try to answer them as best as I can please do not use the comments for personal reading questions uh, again I think it was the third time I'm saying it now angelsouls444.com if you want to try to get a live session with me, I can fit a couple of those in in the evenings this week. So email me for those, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. One last thing before we go. People have been asking about courses. I have a whole library of pre-recorded courses over at gumroad.com. I think it's gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Actually, the link is in the description box along with everything else that I'm working on. And you can get courses there. Get on over there. Check it out. There's all kinds of things over there. And you might want to check out my sub stack. I have the first chapter of one of my books up there for people to read. And it's about an earthquake hitting New York City. I started writing that, I believe, back in 2012. And uh, I remember when I put that in and I was telling people, I worked in publishing. So I was telling people the premise of the book. And I remember them saying... 
that's a weird premise that there would be an earthquake in New York City. That just wouldn't happen. It's chilling to me that it, 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 even though it was minor in the book, it's not seen as minor. Okay. But, uh, so just be ready for that. If you do choose to read it, link is in the description box, but it's just kind of weird how things are coming to pass. There, there was one of those people who actually was one of the people who told me that this wouldn't work in the book also told me that we were due for a pandemic and that it would be absolute devastation for everybody. And I was like, no, it never happened, <laughs> right? So weird things are occurring. Things are starting uh, to happen that we have no context for. So not to be scared, a lot of angelic support. I love that. I love that for us. So I'm going to leave this weekly here and I'm going to start doing the dailies. Check those out. Leave your comments down below. And I love you guys. Take care.